What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lamont Tyson, representing the Life Gains channel. And today, I'm going to talk about the trucking industry and my first week of truck driving school, what it was like, what to expect, and um, why people aren't getting into trucking. So, let's start right there. I think there's a bad perception with the trucking industry. I think people stereotype the trucking industry a whole lot. Usually when people think about the trucking industry, the first thing that I guess come to their mind is dirty old redneck at a TA stop, messing around with redneck hookers or something. I don't know. But I'm here to tell you, that might be the vision back in 1972. But guys, the logistics industry and trucking, that is a two point something billion dollar industry. And there is lots of opportunity in it. There has not been any industry I have been associated with that has so many people so willing to give you advice and tips and help you succeed because there's such a high demand for truckers, freight brokers, trucking companies, anything along the realm, you know. So guys, you might want to think about it. And starting salary here in North Carolina for someone getting into trucking is right around 36 grand. And I'm talking one month of education, trucking school that I'm going to is Future Truckers of America. Shouts out to Mr. Bats. Guys, he is funny. He's a great instructor. He's also the owner, but he will have you laugh and you will learn a lot. And there's a real push for women. Um, ladies, men will bash y'all right now about you not knowing directions or you can't drive. But the statistics say in trucking, Women are doing better than men as far as accidents is concerned. So ladies, if you're tired of being a teacher in the state of North Carolina, you went to college for four years, you got $100,000 in debt, and you're only making 26 grand, maybe think about trucking. So guys, if you're in between a rut, the way I was, and I heard Clark Howard talking about the trucking industry, give it a try. You might be surprised. And so... This is what happened on my first week of school. So if you're thinking about getting into it seriously, find you a good trucking school. In North Carolina, Future Truckers of America is the only one that's certified by the federal government. Not saying that the rest of them aren't legit, but Future Truckers has been through an audit process and a, another process for professionalism, and they're certified. And so, you know, that might be a good one for you to go to, but wherever you live at, you know, there's opportunities in trucking. Make sure you find yourself a good school. And so this is what you can expect if you go somewhere similar to Future Truckers of America. In North Carolina, um, before you can actually get behind the wheel, you have got to, it takes 14 days having your permit. So what I did was before I even started truck driving school, I studied up and got my learner's permit. And the first week of school, all that they're doing is teaching you what you need to know to get the learner's permit because some people didn't have it. So take that in mind. And then um, first day of class, we got to know each other. We had to go get drug tested. Yes, guys, they drug test you. That doesn't mean that if you've got so um, criminal history that you can't get in school. You can, depending upon what it is. But they will drug test you, so be warned. If you're out there smoking a little ganja or whatever, <laughs> kick the habit, man, before you get to this point, because this is life changing money. Um, and came back to class, we kind of got introduced to the industry a little bit, and that was day number one. The day start at 7 a.m. and go on till about 5 to 6 p.m. Day number two, we reviewed inspecting the truck, um, driving conditions all the things you would have to do to be a good truck driver. And day three, recapped everything. And then today, which is December the 12th, 25th, I mean, December the 10th, excuse me, 20, 2015, we had our a test on what we covered this week. And guys that didn't have the um, permit are going out to get the permit. So that was week one. Week two, we'll be doing observations, which is basically ride-alongs. For those in the medical history, you know, you do all your book work first, then you go and um, do clinicals and you're following along someone in the field. Same thing in trucking. But guys, let me just tell you, again, don't overlook the opportunities in trucking. You might have a four-year degree in accounting. 
come get some experience with the CDL, work for a company, doing their accounting. You might have a background in anything else. My background is in respiratory care, oxygen, and all that. Which got me thinking I might want to go toward something, a tanker, something dealing with oxygen, maybe work my way up in management. So like I said, the floor right now in North Carolina is 36 grand. But depending upon how long you want to stay in it, you can make up your own ceiling. So guys, that's all I got to say today. I'll follow you up next week, week number two of Truck Driving School. Don't forget to like that video, comment and subscribe. Go out there and, go out there and get yourself a life game.